Good morning, my friends. Welcome to today's purse tripping video. There we go. Looks like we're set. We got everything all set up and ready to go. Hi, everybody. My name's Kim. I'm purse tripping, and today we've got a really fun purse sale again. I have them almost every day. It's been a little while since I have actually done a little video because I've been busy doing fun thing so welcome everybody coming on hi racy red welcome grab your coffee grab your tea grab a snack whatever you want today we've got some really cute bags behind me i switched around my room again because i'm still working trying to get everything set up where it looks a little bit more professional than just sitting on the floor with bags around so what i did is i had these shelves over here and what i did was um, I just filled the bags that we're going to be doing for today. So every time you guys come on, this shelf will look different. I will have the bags that um, I'll be selling today. So you can't really see the bottom unless I turn the camera around the other way. I don't know if you guys want me to do that. Um, angle this down maybe just a little. Always working on getting it right for you guys. It does take a little bit of effort. Let me close the door here. Um, but yeah, it's filled from top to bottom. Everything right now is already listed in the description box below this video. So if you guys are interested, if you see something, you can go directly to it. You can purchase it. And then the directions are, or I should say the rules, the bah humbug part of the video is, um, all items are final sale. No exchanges, no returns, no, except, no exceptions. Um, I accept PayPal only and I ship only within the US. I do believe most of you guys know that. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna go through bag through bag. Like I said, everything's listed below, all ready to go. And welcome, welcome. Hello Alva and hello to all of those I didn't see while I was running my mouth. Um, Sonia, welcome. Lady Badger, hello. Racy Red, Alva, hola, hola. Okay, you guys, so um, like I said, they're all listed, ready to go. Once you purchase, it's yours to keep. No exchanges, no returns, no exceptions. And feel free to ask any questions you have here. I'll be glad to answer them if I can. And uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and get started. Let me show you this. So if you guys know me, you know that Peanuts, that Snoopy is my ultimate favorite of life. And I got this mug. I finally brought out my holiday mug isn't this cute i got it last year at tj maxx and i'm drinking my caramel i think it's a caramel toffee coffee Tom, caramel toffee coffee it's really good <clears throat> so i'm just gonna set that over here <clears throat> and uh yeah we're just gonna go ahead and get oh let me show you these oh my god speaking of peanuts and snoopy you either love them or you hate them. I'm a lover of Crocs, but these are, I just got these. I think these are so dang cute. I got these from Crocs and um, all the little buttons that you see on them already came on the shoes. So I really love these. So these are mine, my little splurge I got for myself. Can you guys see all the cute little, like the little Snoopy with the wings from the Red Baron, you know? Um, good grief, rats, and it shows. Joe Cool on this one, and then, so cute. I just love it. Anyways, those are my Crocs. Those are my newest purchase. And we're gonna go ahead and get started, okay, you guys? So like I said, everything is listed right now below the video. And number one bag is going to be my Brighton Metallic Leather Hobo. Doesn't it work better when it's on a shelf and you guys can see everything? This is in gorgeous, like new condition. And this bag, you guys, is in the Brighton store right now. And it's around $400. So if you guys want to check it out, it is in the Brighton store. Um, gorgeous, gorgeous hobo. It's got the front pocket, two slip front pockets, two slip back pockets, the Brighton Heart key fob, and even the zipper pull has a beautiful filigree heart on it. And then the strap 
is multicolor woven leather. And here it is on. So pretty, love this bag so much. Zip top closure. The interior is a stripe with multiple inner compartments. And it is pre-loved, but it looks brand new. So, loving this bag. And this is going to be bag uh, number one, Brighton Metallic Leather Hobo. And the price is already listed for you. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna um, show them, try them on, and then I think I'll just set them back up on the shelf until they sell. So that way you guys, oh, you can't even see up there. Oh, hold on. Hmm. Oh well. This one you're not gonna be able to see at the moment, but it's up here and uh, let you know. Okay, so that's bag number one. Stay there. And then number two, I'm just gonna go back and forth. This is a really pretty brown, like a cognac leather coach wristlet wallet. Number two. And it is also in beautiful condition. Brass hardware, and it has a couple little card slots on the inside. Okay, so that's item number two. Item number three is going to be the Juicy Couture Vintage Cheetah Wallet. Item number three, zipper pocket for coin. And this is velour with leather trim. And it's a actually like an army green and black. Love the interior. Multiple card slots, zipper compartments, zipper pocket for coin. All the goodness you need in a large wallet. Okay. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, you guys, when you come on in. It really helps out my channel. And there's my little one. Hello. So, okay. This is going to be item number three, Juicy Couture Wallet. I found another treasure, you guys. I found another vintage leather Juicy Couture tote. I just sold one just like this a week or so ago in a lighter color. This color is gorgeous. It's a distressed cognac leather, vintage. Brass hardware. Fits great on. Gotta have like my nightmare before coffee shirt. That's the truth. That is the truth. So it's a nice large size tote. Here's the bottom. And the handles. The handles have patinaed. So if you don't like a bag that patinas, wrinkles, um, gets natural markings with time, then this probably wouldn't be the one for you. Hello, hello to... Martina, hello. The inside has a large zipper pocket and two open pockets. Okay, so that's Juicy Couture bag number, uh, bag number. Okay, number four. This is number four, you guys. Number five, I have these sell like hotcakes. If you want it, grab it. Okay, so Juicy is 
sold, you guys. The Juicy Couture just sold. It is no longer available. Thank you for your purchase. And I'm going to mark it sold right now. Okay, so item number five is my vintage black leather coin purse. You guys know if you've been following me for a while, they're a bit hard to come by and they are very popular with you ladies. It's got a slip pocket, an ID pocket, and the coin compartment. And when you open it up, there is one, two, three, six card slots and it is genuine leather. It's in new condition, but it is vintage. Okay, so this is item number five. Item number six is, let's bring her up here. Item number six is my Coach Vintage Willis in brown leather, made in the USA. Got the hang tag, brown hardware, nice large slip pocket on the back. Shoulder or crossbody strap, and it is adjustable. Twist lock closure. dust from the paper that's in there. The zipper pocket in the creed is right there. It's stamped right there. Large zipper compartment. Thank you, Darla. And a large pocket right here. And it does still have its hang tag. Okay, so that's my brown <coughs> vintage coach bag. And I'm gonna step it back to put it on the shelf. And this is item number six. These are also a hot commodity with you guys, and I love it. I don't know if you buy them for yourself or buy them for your grandkids or your kids, um, but I found another one, and look at this adorable backpack. This is item number seven. He's a plushie and actually the space in this one is very large. Brand new condition. All your things go in there. So love this one just so much. Look at his little feet and I'll try it on for you. It definitely fits an adult. So adults use these too. As a matter of fact, I have one. I love it. Here's what he looks like on. Okay, and this is item number seven. Plushy dog backpack. Great as a Christmas gift for yourself, for your kids, for your grandkids, whatever you like. Super cute little guy. All right. Item number seven is going to be, I'm sorry, number eight. This is a bright and black leather tote. This is a definite score right here. Oops. Look at this beauty, you guys. So this is Brighton. Double pocket on the front, contrast white stitching, large stitching. You can use this side if you like on the front or this side if you like on the front. It is in like new condition. It's got a nice uh, shoulder drop, if strap drop if you want to wear a coat with it. There's plenty of room. It's got two functioning pockets on the front with magnetic snap closures. 
And then this is the function pocket on the opposite side with magnetic closure. It has a little bit of croc emboss trimming. Even the straps have the stitching on it. Number eight, this is item number eight. Come back. Zip top closure. It does come with the dust bag. The bright and dust bag. The inside has a zipper pocket and a key lanyard and looks like this. Okay, so number eight is my Brighton tote. <clears throat> I think this is item number nine, which is my Brighton brown leather walk. So you can use it as a crossbody or a wallet if you want to detach the little strap. The strap is adjustable. It's in beautiful condition card slots, zipper pocket on the back, and then the zip top pocket <clears throat> has a slip pocket in leather too to put your bills or cash, whatever you want. And this is my Brighton Walk. Item number nine. And I'll show you what it looks like on. So it's really long right now. It can go even longer than this, but it is definitely adjustable. Okay. Next I have, this is a one that somebody might really like. This is a vintage uh, Guess, actually. And it's gorgeous. So if somebody was asking me if I had shoulder bags, this is one I pulled. Looks like a Prada, but it's Guess. Vintage front slip pocket. You can put your phone in. Nice long strap drop shoulder bag. Beautiful condition all the way around. Magnetic snap closure. And then the inside has a center zip compartment, a sidewall zip compartment, um, and then the opposite side pocket. So it's really roomy in black. Okay, so this is my guest vintage shoulder bag, item number 10. Silver hardware, by the way. Okay, so that's item number 10. What do we have for 11? We have, okay. Brand new with tags, excellent condition. This is a Coco's Rico for my Sugar Skull gals. It's a tote style and it does have a crossbody strap with it. Hi Bev, welcome. All of these here are rhinestones. I don't know if you can see it. I gotta sneeze, hold on. <coughs> okay. Um, these are rhinestones. They're really large rhinestones too, and they're really pretty. You can't tell, but they have lots and lots of um, cuts on them, and they really attract the rainbow, the sun. So it's got a patent leather skull on the front. It's got a pocket on the back. And it even has, if a rhinestone should go missing, you've got extras in this little bag right here. Tags attached, great gift giving condition. Zip top closure, the inside is super cute. The inside also has sugar skulls. 
Thank you, T. Tr T, thank you so much. It's got a zipper pocket, and then over here are two elastic sidewall pockets, okay? So I'll put the strap back in for you. Never used, brand spanking new with tags. So you can wear it as a tote, a shoulder bag, or a crossbody. So cute. And this is item number 17. So this is item number, no it's not. This is not item number 17. This is item number 11, you guys. 11, sorry about that. Okay, item number 12 is going to be my Betsy Johnson wallet in black and white with the little embossed bows, little quilted bows. The inside is a gold metallic. There's the price. <laughs> so you guys, some people want to know. I don't care sometimes. Sometimes it doesn't, I don't know. It just, it is what it is. I usually like to take off the prices, but you saw it, it's okay. Thank you, Racy Red, I so appreciate that. One, two, three, four, and tons of credit card slots. Okay, so Betsy Johnson wallet is item number 12. Item number 12. All right, item number 13 is going to be, let me get my cheat notes over here, Rebecca Minkoff. Large pebbled, black pebbled leather hobo. What is the bag behind the coin purse next to the puppy dog? The bag behind the coin, oh, that's my coach. That's a coach Willis, I just showed it. Okay, so here is a large black pebbled leather, beautiful condition, Rebecca Minkoff. Very biker chick looking. It's got two large pockets on the front that zip down that do have the tassels. See the bottom? The pebble on this is really, really nice and smushy. The leather strap is padded. And then the inside you have one, two open pockets and a slip pocket and a zipper pocket. And this is the material. It's got like butterflies on it. Okay, so this is my Rebecca Minkoff. And this is item number 13. I like that one. Okay, number 13, and then I have, let me get a sip of my coffee, you guys. Cheers, clink. Okay, so, uh, now we're doing my Patricia Nash. This is the Maps Clutch, brand new with tags as well. $69 retail. You can wear it as a clutch, as a wristlet. You can also take this off and use it as a keychain if you prefer. And then the inside has a large slip compartment and lots of credit card slots. Okay, so Patricia Nash, item number 14. Oh man, I got the little plastic thing stuck in there. There we go. Here's a little Patricia Nash stamp on the back. Okay, well, let's see. What do we have for item number 15? Notes, please. 
15 is going to be, come back, um, Number 15 is my Brighton Floral Tote. It's in a tapestry leather, a tapestry with leather trim by Brighton. Excellent new condition. The straps on it are beautiful. The inside has a center large snap compartment. It has um, a zipper pocket, a wall zipper pocket. And then this side over here has a zipper pocket as well. And this is what she looks like on. Nice strap drop again. Okay, so this is my Brighton number 15. Do I have any questions, you guys? You guys are so quiet this morning. Oh, and it's got a magnetic snap closure on the top as well. Okay, here is my <clears throat> black canvas and leather backpack purse. Brand new condition as well. Padded straps, two zipper compartments on the, wait a minute. Okay, so one main zipper compartment on the front, two side zipper compartments on the back. It's black canvas with a saddle leather trim. Here's what it looks like on. And then you can definitely adjust the straps to your size. It's really, really comfy, actually. I love the saddle leather trim. Okay, and then you pull the cinch string, and it does have um, lots of pockets over here on this side wall. Thank you, Steph. And then a zipper pocket over here. Nice, roomy, and large. And this is item number 16. Okay, item number 16 is my backpack. <clears throat> All right, now we have item number 17, which is going to be my sugar skull. <clears throat> Kiss Lock Bag. And this is by, um, I forgot to say who it was by. Oh, this is by Lux DeVille. So this is a very expensive bag. I didn't list it as Lux, Lux DeVille, but it is. You can see the inside says it. It's a faux patent trim with a soft material, sugar skulls on the front. Um, it's got a zipper pocket on the side wall. Really nice framed satchel, or I'm sorry, tote. Looks really, really cute on as well. Got big feet on the bottom. Quit dying on me, man. Come back. So this is item number 17, this Lux DeVille Sugar Skull Tote. Okay. And then we've got item number 18, which is my Loungefly Nightmare Before Christmas Limited Edition Mini Backpack Purse. Got all the little Nightmare Before Christmas characters on it. It's got little two little side pockets. These are collector's pieces, by the way. 
The zipper pull has Jack, Jack's head on it. So the inside says Loungefly. This is one of the originals. Um, I'll show you the Loungefly tag on it right, right here. Hold on, let me grab it. Right here. So it's Loungefly right there. Jack's Nightmare Before Christmas. All of the original tags. Um, zipper pocket on the back. And I'll try it on for you. Adjustable straps. what that looks like and this is going to be item number 18 item number 18 okay and then item number 19 is my Michael Kors pebbled leather tote So this is the last one for the day. You can whip somebody with that. Walk by them if they get in your way. There's a, never mind, I'm not gonna even say it. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> I was gonna say something, but I better not. I better not. Front pocket, gold tone hardware, large slip pocket on the back. Snap top closure and two open pockets and a zipper pocket. Okay, so that is today's bag sale. Um, let me know if you have any questions. I'll let the live go for a few minutes. You can ask me questions or if there's another one you want to see. Um, I'll show it to you again real quick. Uh, I'm not carrying a bag right now, believe it or not. <laughs> this is my bag like I carry. This is because I'm constantly, constantly thrifting. This is what I carry with me on a daily, every single day. This is my Holy Cow Couture tote. So when I'm done shopping, I just put all my bags in here. And if that's what I use every day of life. Oh! Hold on, guys. Oh, that's not good. That wasn't good. Hang on. You guys still there? Let me know if you're still here because the phone totally just dropped. All right, payment was just received for the Coach Willis. Thank you very much to the person that purchased. So we'll go ahead and mark that sold. So the Coach Willis is no longer available. She has sold and she's a beauty. Um, let's see, did I miss any questions? Okay, 
I guess that's it. All right, you guys, I don't see any more questions coming through, so I'm gonna go ahead and close out this video, let you guys loose on the description box. Um, everything is already marked available or sold, so hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day, and I will see you soon. All right, guys, have a great one. Bye-bye.